The word hybrid means combination of a few things, in this case, open surgery and endovascular surgery. What it means is that we can now do surgery the old-fashioned way by opening patients up, so-called open surgery. The other aspect of hybrid is endovascular, which means from within. So these machines allow us to see inside the patient and do our things without actually opening them up. The beauty of a hybrid operating room, it allows you to do both. The operator can move the table to wherever it needs to be, and while he's doing that and performing surgery, he can look up here and see exactly what he's doing, live. We can see things better, and knowing where you are allows us to do things uh, a little quicker, certainly more efficiently. In a room like this, where we're using radiation to see, speed and efficiency means safety. It's less radiation for the patient, less radiation for ourselves and our staff around us. We all wear our lead protective gowns and aprons or, or one piece, but this also helps as well as this yet lead shield to protect our brains. Typically in an operating room, you have a surgeon who works on one side of the table and then you have an assistant or resident that works on the other side of the table. We'll have patients with vascular diseases who have blocked arteries. We have patients with vascular diseases that have overly expanded arteries, so-called aneurysms. And that can be anywhere in the chest, close to the heart, or further down in the abdomen. In addition to supporting or putting stents to strengthen or divert blood from those aneurysms, we will also open up blocked blood vessels that can slow down blood flow to our arms, our legs, to vital organs such as our kidney and our bowels. And we have heart surgery patients who have all kinds of the same diseases that I just mentioned, but also much more complicated patients, like patients with aortic valve problems in the heart and so on. And instead of a big operation with an incision in the chest, they can have a small little entry point in the, the groin or under the collarbone and be home the next day. We have monitors around the room so we can see our patient's hemodynamics, like your vital signs, your blood pressure, your heart rate and rhythm. This also can drive the table. So from here, remotely, the radiology tech would run everything from here. We now have the facility, uh, the equipment, the imaging, which allows us to expand our horizons and get into even more complex leading edge interventions. Without the involvement of our donors and the community at large, this facility would not exist. We are very fortunate in our region that we've had some absolutely wonderful donors who have stepped up, recognized the importance of a room like this and the facilities and the care of patients that we can deliver and have made this a reality. So we owe everything to them.